Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. I know you get frustrated sometimes about opening new tabs in Safari or whatever other browser you're using, so I figured out a bright, colorful way to show you the value of using tabs. First, a little history lesson. The reason they call them tabs are because of these things. Tab file folders, like you can get down at the office supplies store. This is the tab. So, in browsers, like Safari, it looks pretty much the same. So, let's say you wake up one morning, you go to your computer, and you start Gmail like you always do. Um, so here's your Gmail window in Safari, and they put Gmail up on the tab here. Now, let's say you start a chat with Jackie, and she says, hey, let's go out to Oak Glen. It's time for the Arkansas Black Apples to be ready to be picked. So you want to go see how far that is. Well, you could go up in your browser right here, and type Google Maps, but then it would wipe out your Gmail window and put Google Maps there. An easier thing to do is to open a new tab and type in Google Maps and there you go. Now your one Safari window has a Gmail tab and a Google Maps tab. So you type in Oak Glen, you see how far it is, and then you get to thinking, well, I wonder what the weather's going to be like this weekend. So, open another tab. Type in weather.com. See, the weather's going to be fine. So, you don't need that anymore. You can close that tab, put that one away. But, let's say you want to go chat with Jackie again, but you haven't got the directions printed out yet. Well, just click on the Gmail tab. That one will come to the top so you can see it. You can continue your chat. And then when you're ready to go print your directions, click on that tab. Google Maps will come to the front again. You can print it out. And then when you're done with that, you can close that tab too. And you're back to your original Gmail window, Gmail tab, I should say. And you haven't lost your chat. It's been going on all that time while you've been hopping between it and your Google Maps tab and your weather.com tab. And never again will you have to tell anyone that, oh, sorry, I lost the chat window. So now let me go show you that on the computer. Okay, so here we are in a real Gmail window in Safari. And to open a new tab, one way is to go up to the file menu and you can see new tab here. But you can also see that the keyboard shortcut is Command T, which that's what I usually do. It's a lot handier. But if you ever forget, you know you can always find it up here. So I'll, since I'm up there, I'll click there. So there's a new tab. It starts off by saying Top Sites, which is Safari's handy way of showing you these 12 sites that you use most often. Um, so if you can find the site you're looking for there, you can just click on it. So here's Google Maps. I'm just going to click on it here. So there's a Google Maps tab. You can see you can always click back to Gmail just, just by clicking on the tab. That's all it takes to switch between two different websites. And to add a third tab, I'll just do a Command T again. And up here I'm just going to type weather.com. And there we go. There's that third tab in my example. Weather.com. Now you're done. Let's say you checked out the weather. You're done with that. To close a tab, you hover over the tab and you see this X show up. Just click on the X and it'll disappear. And here, click on that. It's gone. Now we're back to that original Gmail tab. You've never had to mess around with it. You could have come back numerous times and continue to chat, all while you're bouncing back and forth between tabs for Gmail, Google Maps, weather.com, or any other website. I hope that helps, Mom. I'll talk to you later.